this video, you'll see how to use AWS Systems Manager Inventory to collect inventory data from your managed Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 instances for auditing. You'll also learn how you can store your inventory data in an Amazon Simple Storage Service or S3 bucket. In order to gather inventory data on your instances, you must first ensure that each of them has been assigned appropriate policies within AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM. For the purposes of this example, that has already been done. Let's navigate to the EC2 dashboard and take a look at our instances. As you can see, we have six EC2 instances running on either Amazon Linux or Microsoft Windows. Each instance has been configured with an IAM role that includes a permissions policy to allow inventory data to be collected from the instance. We also recommend that you include an inline policy, such as the example shown here, to allow execution logs from the inventory collection to be stored in an S3 bucket. Now, let's navigate to AWS Systems Manager to configure the data collection. First, Let's ensure that all the instances we want to collect inventory data from are listed as managed instances. All six instances are listed, so we're able to proceed with enabling inventory collection. From this inventory screen, click the Setup Inventory button to begin configuring the data collection. Here, you can modify the inventory name and specify how to target instances. For this example, let's just select all managed instances in this account. You can also specify how often to collect inventory data. In this case, let's set it up to collect the data every seven days. You can set parameters to choose which data to collect as part of the inventory. Some of the options only apply to Windows instances, such as Windows Updates or Windows Roles. If you want to collect information about specific file types on your instances, you can specify which folder or folders you want to collect data from, as well as the types of files you want to inventory for each. You can also collect information about any Microsoft Windows registry keys that you specify. You can sync the inventory execution logs to an S3 bucket if you included the custom inline policy we showed earlier. Simply check the box, specify the S3 bucket, and add an optional prefix. Click the Setup Inventory button to complete the process and begin collecting inventory data. After a few minutes, the initial inventory collection will start running on your EC2 instances. Let's navigate to State Manager to review the inventory association. Here, you can review and edit the settings for the inventory association, including the resources the association was applied to, the parameters being used in the inventory collection, the targets for the collection, the versions of the association, and the execution history. As you can see, this association executed successfully on all six instances. Next, navigate to Managed Instances to review the data that's been collected for a specific instance. Click the Inventory tab to review the data. Here, you can see a list of all the applications that are installed on this instance. You can also look at other inventory data. For example, let's look at Windows roles configured on this instance, and then Windows updates. The inventory page provides a summary of all the data that's been collected. You can filter the data by resource groups, tags, or inventory types. For instance, you could look at data for all instances running a specific application. By default, Amazon keeps collected inventory data for a rolling 30-day period. If you want to be able to look at older inventory data, you can store it in an S3 bucket. To set that up, let's navigate to the S3 Management Console. Here is the bucket we'll use to store inventory data. 
to store inventory data in this bucket, you'll need to add a custom bucket policy from the Permissions tab. Here's an example of what that policy looks like. You can find this code in the AWS documentation for configuring resource data syncs for your inventory collection. Be sure to specify the correct bucket name and account ID in the appropriate locations. Once you've added the bucket policy, you can create a resource data sync to store the inventory data in your S3 bucket. Provide a name for the data sync and then specify the bucket name and prefix where you want to store the inventory data. Now, when you return to your S3 bucket, you can see that a new folder has been created for the inventory data. You've just seen how to use AWS Systems Manager Inventory to collect inventory data from your managed EC2 instances for auditing and how you can store your inventory data in an S3 bucket. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.